yes, yes, I know the view behind me hasn't changed much. I just, I only filmed my last video a couple of days ago and I've been busy. Anyway, and I'm in my slouchy clothes because it's Sunday and I couldn't really be bothered. So I did put my face on, for especially for you guys, so that you wouldn't have to look at the weird albino boy that I look like when I don't have my face on. But yes, so um, yesterday I went to the London Planner Meet for Gemma Rose's birthday. Um, I'm so glad I was able to go. It was a bit last minute as to whether I could or not because like financial reasons and whatnot, but I was able to and I'm just, I'm so happy because I had a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, so in this video I've got, I'll do a little rundown of the day and blah about it a bit and I've got actually got some vlog footage for once. Um, not like the 30 seconds I had for the big meet, I've got a good couple of minutes so yay! And then I will show you my haul. If you saw my last video you would have may have noticed that I said I wouldn't be doing much shopping at the London meet. Just said I didn't quite pan out. Oops. Oops. It's just, I think it's being there in London and all the beautiful shops and all the beautiful things and you're with people who have the same pleasures and passions as you. And so instead of, when, sometimes when you go with your family or friends and you're like, oh look at this beautiful stationery, they're like, lovely. But when you're with planner people, they're going, oh! It's beautiful, you have to get it. So yeah, not shopping at a plan of me isn't exactly a possible thing to do. But yes, I met some wonderful, wonderful ladies. I'm not gonna remember all your names at the moment. I'm so sorry. I probably could if I really, really thought about it, but no one wants to see a video of me going. But yes, most of the people that I didn't know beforehand at all, I'm not very active on the Facebook groups, so I didn't know who the hell I was either, obviously, um, apart from one, Alice. <laughs> um, but uh, yes, yeah, so they were all wonderful ladies and it was just so awesome just talking planners and stuff. Obviously I had the big meet last week, but it was so big and so busy and so gah! But this, because there was a handful of us, we could really just sit down and chat planners and stationery and it was just, it was awesome. Um, but yeah, to the ladies who were there, thank you for making a wonderful day. It was wonderful to meet you all. You are beautiful, beautiful, wonderful people. And I still need to find you all on Facebook and Instagram. And you all better subscribe to my YouTube. Right, I've lost my train of thought. But there were two people there that I did know. One I didn't know was coming, so when I saw her I was like, ah, it's Jasmine! So Jasmine, who we've written to each other a couple of times, um, it is my turn to write back, I am aware. I finally found my pen pal letters in that white box. They've just been unpacked, so I want it. Um, so it was great to see her. She has awesome tattoos, I'm so jealous. And of course, Gemma, who you've probably noticed us having interaction before on YouTube and other places, and that was just, it was kind of weird in the sense that there was no, none of that like, oh, this is the first time we're meeting in person. Hello, how are you? Awkwardness. It was just click, there you go. Like, just chatted as if we chat normally like online or whatever. So yes, wonderful to finally meet Gemma. So as for the day itself, we met at sort of late morning. Well, you know what? I'm going to tell you this story because Gemma's a numpty. We were supposed to meet at Costa at King's Cross Station. I get off, my train gets off at St Pancras, so I just have to walk 30 seconds to get to King's Cross. But because I'm always dealing with St Pancras, I'm never in King's Cross, so I didn't know that there wasn't a Costa in King's Cross. So I'm walking around this station like an absolute numpty. People are starting to give me weird looks, like, anyway, I find, I check my phone and I get, we're at Paper Chase near the underground entrance, and there's a lot of entrances to the underground around King's Cross St Pancras and I'm just like I just don't know where you are and so I find someone to ask she didn't know so she passed me on to the security guard anyway I found paper chase I found them inside buying stuff and yes turns out they'd been in Costa in St Pancras and then gone to the paper chase in St Pancras so yes everyone Gemma Rose doesn't know the difference between King's Cross and St Pancras Station. There you go. So after that we had we waited around a bit for more ladies to turn up. I painted my nails on the floor of King's Cross, which is apparently not a normal thing to do. Who knew? Um, 
Then we got the Underground to Covent Garden to Kiki K. Ooh. I don't know how much I should talk about what happened because you can see it in the footage that I did, but Kiki K was amazing. Met the famous Joey or the not famous Joey at Kiki K. We were in there for a while. I wasn't gonna buy anything. Let's just say that I did buy something. And then after a very long time in there, we went for lunch at Pizza Express, went to the wrong Pizza Express, had to go back on ourselves, which was fine because my Kiki K bag broke, so I had to go back to Kiki K to get another bag. Anyway, then we had lunch at Pizza Express, Gemma opened some of her presents that we all got her. She wasn't expecting anything, so that was kind of hilarious that she wasn't expecting anything and then had like a pile of stuff. Um, I should probably say in the footage, when she opens anything, I didn't... I forgot to film when she opened anything from me, so don't be like, oh, you're so kind for getting her that stuff, because it wasn't me, it was other people that did the footage, so yeah, I got her some other bits, which she probably, hopefully, better show in her whole video when she vlogs for me as well. And we stayed in Pizza Express for ages, just chatting. We were in there for a very, very long time, like we just ages chatting, but it was great. So then we got the underground to paper chase, lost a couple of people along the way, refound a couple of people. It's because they were too busy chatting and natting that they weren't paying attention to where the rest of the group were going, but we found them at paper chase. It was fine. Um, so then yes, walking around paper chase, got some incredible bargains you will see. And then what else did we do? We had coffee at paper chase because we were all like, holding our heavy bags and baskets and coats and just like, ah, I need a break. Had a break, did more shopping, finished up at Paper Chase, walked down the road to Tiger, had a quickish look around Tiger because we were running out of store opening hours. Then we, a couple of ladies left after that. Oh, I think Jasmine left after Paper Chase, so she missed Tiger, Woo. but she had a train to catch. Um, and then we went to somewhere for dinner a spaghetti something I don't remember it was Italian it was delicious I don't know um and then and we did the same thing we were yakking and yakking and then we all didn't realize the time Alice and Gemma had to run and get a train so they had to rush off and then I realized if I didn't leave right then I would have to sort of wait around at St Pancras by myself for like an hour and a half so I was like I'm gonna go but yes so there is your very very quick rundown of the day it was great as I said chatting to planner ladies is just great especially when you're in a small group and you can just like yeah it was such a good day so thank you to all the ladies one gentleman a husband not a planner man a husband um, for making such a uh, just brilliant brilliant day I'm so grateful that you, and you were all just so so lovely 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 people so there we go so yeah I will insert the vlog footage now. Hello, ladies. Hello, Anna. <laughs> Hello. thing.
<laughs> She's made decisions. <laughs> um, it's an anniversary journal, so each year on your anniversary, you write in different things about the year. That's cute. It says, remember the 60 entries? He won't live that long. <laughs> You can use it for your second husband as well. Yeah. Just put a little Let's divider in the middle. Out, yeah. <laughs> first husband, second husband, first half of the end. Decisions, decisions. Do I want an A5 cause for a personal cause? She child. has to buy them both. That there is called a bad influence both. over there. Which one? 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 Size. That's I also thought I'd video some of this planner chat going on. <laughs> Evidence of planner chat. We don't just shop. A box! I've always wanted a box! Oh no, like a little snippet of the day um, I'm pretty sure that Gemma's got more footage of the day itself than I do so as soon as they're published and I think she's doing two videos as well so as soon as hers are published I will put links in the description box so you can go watch hers as well um, and you can probably see all the presents she got from everyone and things like that so yeah definitely go check hers out um, and yeah so now I will show you all the things that I bought so I was going to leave doing the Kiki K bag till last in this haul section of the video but seeing as you've already seen in the vlog what I got anyway I might as well start with it. So my beautiful Kiki K bag, I've actually got two because as I said earlier the one in the, that one inside it broke. So I got two things from Kiki K. Oh no I'm lying I've got three things I have to go get it. We okay. go. I found it. Um, yes, this is, you probably saw me playing with this in the video, just because it's like it's a clip, but it's so big. Bloop, bloop, bloop. 
Um, but yeah, this was in my handbag because the lady at Kiki K was just like, maybe you should put it in your handbag so it doesn't get lost in that giant bag. Like, good idea. So that was the first thing I picked up. And then I picked up this Paper Lovers book, which was in the sale. Um, it was £18 down to £12. And I actually had my eye on this when they first came out. Um, but just didn't get around to getting it, also because it was £18. Um, but in the sale, and just in the being in Kiki K in general, I just, I really wanted it. So the Paper Lovers book, if you don't know, has various things. So it's got just papers here. And then these are like little mini cards. These are like, I don't know what those are, like tags or little stand-up boxes or something. There's just loads and loads of different papery things that you can make and so there's stickers there that says that's a box that you can make it says for you so you have to use that as a gift and stickers these are little like pop-up things just loads and loads and loads of bits and bobs like journal card type things in here as well and tags so yeah there's loads love those stickers um and then also it sort of divides halfway through when you get this other range that i don't remember the name of but it's got the same kind of stuff um there's some alpha i don't know if they're stickers or tags but yeah so there's just a book full of stuff journal cards stickers tags and then at the end you've got two sheets of wrapping paper but it's quite sturdy wrapping paper so i might just use it as paper so yeah i got that and then the big thing i got as you have probably seen is this so I genuinely wasn't gonna buy a planner but I think it was just being in Kiki K and be, being able to like touch and feel them and you know get all up close and personal with them that I don't know it just does it for you it's so so different to being online oh, I'm just struggling to get this out so Doo. I haven't bought a new planner for ages I'm talking over a year here what, A5? I don't remember now. I'm going to have to think about that. But, yes. I know this isn't exactly one of their brand new ranges. Because this is the Paws range. And even after this one, they bought out the Paws Guld. Not gold. Guld. Um, I think it must be Swedish for gold. Um, so, it's not exactly a new range or anything. Oh, it's not a scuff, is it? No, it's not. Oh, whew. Um, but yes, this is just, it's so me that I love it. It's white on the outside. I love black and white and it's turquoisey teal on the inside, which is my favourite colours. And it's got black rings. Um, and I just, I really love it. So I'm not going to go through it now. I'll probably do a proper unboxing video of the whole thing to show you what's inside and whatnot. But yes, that is my big purchase of the day. So next is Paper Chase. I had a whale of a time in there. I mean, obviously I've been to Paper Chase before, but I've never been to the flagship store. and Or mother, the mothership, as Gemma calls it. Um, and it is awesome in there. It really is. And um, we walked in. You probably saw in the vlog it said 50% off sale. Now, I think they were, like, nearing the end of the sale because the racks were, like, a, getting a bit sparse. And it was quite funny, actually, because one of the racks that a lot of us bought stuff from... By the time we'd gone to the third floor, second floor, whatever, and then back down again, that rack was completely empty. They'd obviously emptied the rest of it onto the other thing. So, yes, very good timing. Sorry, I haven't had a cup of tea yet today. I'm gagging. So, in Paper Chase, I did buy loads and loads, actually. I'm pretty impressed. There's not tons in here, but there is one two planners I'll see these first so yeah um when a planner is reduced from 22 pound 50 to six pound 50 don't really have a choice in the matter do you because i mean six pound 50 for an a5 planner like is that a joke so i got this and Jim got one as well, I believe. But our hauls are going to be really similar, I think. Um, so, yes. 
is this. I have no idea what I'm going to use it for, but I was thinking about giving it away, but it's my favourite colour and it was £6.50. I just, yeah, I don't know what to use it for. Suggestions are welcome. But uh, you've got the normal paper chase inserts in here, which I've never used in my life. There's a calendar which is probably lost yeah so none of it's going to be good unless you cover up the dates got some adrift, but it's got some nice note paper in the back there nice note paper so yes that is that planner and it's got um a notepad at the back and what it so that's kind of like the domino where there's a thing there and a thing there and at the front we have Pocket there, card slots, window pocket, and a zip. Zip! Right! Um, I was just halfway through filming and then my mum comes in. She's like, I want to see what you've got. So I had to repack it all, take it downstairs and show her. So, where were we? Um, I'll show you that. And then, also in the massive sale section was this personal size. Um, paper chase planner for less than a fiver so I had to pick up that one as well um, I really really don't have a use for that one but for the price I just it's one of those things you just like for that price I have to pick it up it's just biological imperative so um, that will be probably used for a giveaway <laughs> I had to pick it up oh dear so there's that and then I picked up, this was also in the sale, um, I really love these writing pads from Paper Chase, I use them for um, letters because they're just the really really pretty patterns, I've got two already, so this one was in the sale for two quid, the sort of spacey one, and then I got this one as well which was full price but it's so pretty that I just really really like it, so I got this one as well for four. And look, even the back. So when I've finished using the paper, I can use the back for something as well. So that's lovely. And thanks to Gemma, I picked up these because she found them. Some of these bow paper clips. They were two pounds for the pack. I bought two of these because someone found them. I think it was Jasmine. Jazz saw them. She's like, these are for you. These little cats with Christmas hats <laughs> and the sheets are a pound each so oh, two need two and then lastly from paper chase was this little pack this is paper embellishment pack so it's like die cuts and stuff from the new cat range which does have a name but I don't remember what it is um but yeah really pretty and that was three pound this was one of those things where I saw it we were in that little section of the new range and I went oh and grabbed those and I think Jazz was next to me and she kind of did her own oh and grabbed a pack and then I think next was Chelsea I think was like oh and grabbed a pack which is like hands going in there's probably like one left after that so yeah that was all from Paper Chase and with my student discount all of that came to £21 two planners refill pads and a couple of bits and bobs for 21 quid. Oh. and then last but not least was Tiger. So let me just delve into here. I got this just little notebook. Um, I think it was two pounds. It's got nice quality plain cream paper in. The reason I like it is because the font reminds me of the Death Note book. Not everyone will know what that means, but those who do will be like, that's the Death Note font. And I got one of these famous sort of tiger traveller's notebooks. And they're only £2 each. I mean, they're not, they're kind of a plasticky card, it's cardboard with a finish. And then, but just for the inserts, it's amazing. You've got this pocket here. And then the first notebook is lined. And the next notebook is grid paper. And there's another pocket 
at the back so I really really liked that I'm kind of wishing I picked up two because for two quid I should have picked up a couple I might be giving this away I haven't decided yet I can't really take out the uh, the inserts I like more than anything but I can't really take out the inserts and then just give away the thing but maybe I can get to the tiger near to me and get some more and some little stick on spiders for Halloween this is not remotely crafty and no longer will be useful for the next six to nine months but it's a fan that you put into your smartphone to your iPhone or whatever and I get really hot really easily so and I saw some ladies at the table next to me have these the big meat and I got like a little waft of one of them I was like those are genius and then I saw it in Tiger and I'm going yes I want one and it's in my favourite colour and that was three pound Again, not really crafty, but two packs of tissues. I really like the tiger tissues. Nice little things to have in your handbag, and it's a pound for two. So I grabbed those, and now I've dropped one. And I got a wax sealing stamp and some wax candly doobries for making, I don't know the words, but yeah, wax sealing stamp. I think that was four pound, maybe. It's got the... I don't know how well you can see the sort of the fledgly pattern on it. I've already got one that's got a heart, but I wanted the fledgly one as well because it's kind of like more old school. I got this little pack of 30 paper clips, which are little triangles. Very cute. No idea how much. One of those things that you just pick up, throw it in the basket. And then the very last thing is this lovely sort of gold tray, which I'm going to use to put on my desk and put uh, pen pal letters in, that are like my in tray of ones that I need to reply to because I thought that was pretty. This was actually quite funny because you know the way Tiger works is that you kind of go round in a certain way so you start and you go the bits organised so that you go round and then you end at the tills. Um, this was actually after the tills so I'd already paid for all of this stuff and then saw this at the end and went, oh damn, I really like one of those. And then sort of walked out and then we were stood outside and because we were waiting for someone else, I went, you know what, I'm just going to run in and grab it. So I did. And it was three or four pounds. I'm not sure, but I just, I quite like it. Nice little in tray. So yes, there we go. So there we go. That is my haul from everything I bought in London yesterday at Paper Chase, Tiger and Kiki K. I had... As I said, I had a great day. Another big thank you to all the lovely ladies that I met. Um, and to Gemma, of course, for organising the whole thing. And I hope you had a great day. And, you know, happy birthday again. And, yeah, there we go. Um, I don't know what else to say, really. Just, it was awesome. And, yeah, got lots of new stuff. Oops. Yes, okay, I'm going to go now and play with my new things. Okay, bye!